Well, five minutes is a lot of time, so I can speak slowly. <laughs> so j just to, as, as more of an intro, I'm going to talk about how to solder to uh, uh, conductive, uh, uh, conductive ink, specifically to conductive copper ink. Uh, just to say that at uh, Coprint, we are uh, uh, really transforming the way people are making conductive patterns. So we enable people to work with uh, copper inks. They are made out of uh, nano copper particle and uh, really to substitute the way people are making conductive pattern. Either uh, uh, people are, who are working with silver inks, we enable uh, uh, to, to, to cut the cost of production usually by a factor of five to a factor of 10 by providing a, a, a lower cost solution and with higher conductivity. And we are even uh, enabling to cut cost of uh, PCB etching for a lot of circuits. So transforming the way people make uh, circuit board from polluting processes in, uh, in China to make those in Europe, in the US. Um, uh, so uh, trying to go into a bit more comparable data at uh, Coprint, uh, our, our inks, you can see on the right hand side, the Y axis is the conductivity and the copper inks have higher conductivity than the silver inks that are offered today. They are also uh, have a, a lower cost, uh, and, and this really will provide the, the factor between five to 10 in cost performance. You can also see that the processing of the copper ink is much faster, so they are suitable for uh, high-speed roll-to-roll uh, processes for printing on, uh, on flexible substrate, but we are also enabling to print on uh, rigid substrate. And um, uh, uh, just to, to jump into more of uh, the, the issue of uh, soldering, you know, uh, we are talking on all this conference about uh, printed electronics, and the purpose is not just to create, uh, to print electronics, it's to connect components to it. And uh, there are almost no circuits without, uh, 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 without components. So how do you attach component to your, uh, to your um, um, uh, printed uh, circuits? Uh, I mean, people are usually working with soldering. I mean, this is all the PCBs in the world that we see. Uh, people are using soldering. But when you are printing with uh, silver, uh, it is impossible actually to do soldering. So some guys may tell you, yes, you can solder, but actually it's not a proper soldering because you cannot create uh, an intermetallic compound between the tin and the silver. And therefore, the, the, there is no long-term performance um, these are not approved by, uh, you know, uh, uh, IPC and, uh, and, and, and all the standardizations. So, so people are using today actually electrical uh, conductive adhesive in order to connect uh, um, to printed electronics uh, part. These ECAs are usually made out of uh, silver. They are very expensive and, and less standard. Uh, and one great thing about copper ink is that uh, you can just solder to it. Uh, in a very simple process, you can actually see here uh, 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 in a loop actually a very simple uh, video showing that, uh, you know, you take the copper traces, uh, you uh, uh, put a solder uh, paste on that, um, so you print it with a stencil, then you <clears throat> attach it, the component, you can do it manually or with uh, uh, an automatic way, put it in a reflow oven and then it's working, and actually on the uh, image on the uh, top uh, uh, right hand side uh, where you can see my mouse, you can see the creation of an intermetallic compound between the tin and the copper uh, um, connecting. And we are doing this uh, for printing with SAC 305, with SNPB, but also with low temperature still, uh, uh, solder paste that can work on uh, uh, a PT. So, so finally there is an alternative to do high quality soldering on PET and stop using the expensive uh, electrical conductive adhesive that uh, most of you are uh, uh, using today. Uh, one additional uh, uh, important point maybe to say is, you know, how do you do the testing? What's the quality? Usually uh, the testing will be with a die shear force. You will do the soldering as you do here on the right hand side. And then you apply a force, you measure the, the how many kilograms you need in order to pull the, this uh, 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 away. And, and something very important to say, actually there is a mix thing uh, for a lot of people between performance and wetting. Not always wetting is going to uh, uh, imply what will be the performance. Uh, we are getting uh, into forces of more than three kilogram force 
um, but not always the best uh, uh, wedding. But actually, the wedding is not critical. What's important is how good is the, uh, uh, the your uh, electrical component connected to uh, uh, the substrate. And we are doing this, as I said, on, on FR4, SAC305, SNPB, and also uh, with... Your time is up, but yeah, so you can just finish this slide. So if my time is up, then I would just say, you know, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Kasha, for organizing that. And you can see here quite a lot of products actually with soldering in a reflow oven to uh, um, uh, uh, two printed uh, uh, copper traces. I will be in the, uh, the booth here, so feel free to, uh, to contact us and to come and uh, visit us. Thank you. Thank you for the great presentation. And uh, I think we've come to the end of the first session. We now have a 10 minute break from the talks. Please go back to the floor plan and visit the booths. I mean, I've been told that a lot of people are watching these talks, uh, but I think, you know, click on the, uh, on the, uh, on the you know, little, little person on the top right side, find the rooms, click on the floor plan and go talk to these people. And, and, and we, are at, uh, we are at room number four, so join us. There you go. If you want to meet over, room number four.